हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर वन सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड एज वी ऑल नो दैट ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स नीड फूड बिकॉज फूड प्रोवाइड्स देम एनर्जी एनर्जी टू डू वर्क इफ वी डू नॉट ईट फूड then we starts feeling weak so let's read about in need of food and the sources of food so all living organisms need food food is essential for both animals and plants because food is important for all living organisms then what are the functions of food food provides energy and it helps in growth and if you are getting injury then food helps in healing injuries so now let's know about the sources of food sources of food means from where do you get your food we get food from both plants and animals now students think that whatever the food you are eating from where you are getting it then the answer will come to your mind that the seeds the pulses the vegetables are coming from plants and milk curd ghee and such kind of things are coming from animals now let's know students what are producers producers are the organisms which are able to make their food now we know that plants can make the food by the process of photosynthesis and only plants can make the food that's why we called the plants as producers now let's know the students what are consumers consumers are the organisms which are unable to make their own food and obtain fro- food from plants and other sources now consumers are the organisms that means they are the organisms which cannot perform the process of photosynthesis and they cannot make their own food instead of that they depends upon on plants or producers for their food examples animals and some non green plants food from plants as i told you above that plants are the producers of food and plants make the food for all living organisms now green plants prepare more food while green plants are doing photosynthesis they are preparing the food for them and for other living organisms also and the extra food that is prepared during the process of photosynthesis which the plants are not using and which is extra that food is getting stored in different parts of the plants for example the food that comes from different part of the plants are first roots as we know that roots are the part of plants which attach the plant with soil and roots absorb the water and minerals 
to for the plant but in some plants roots perform some special functions in some plants root stores food for example the carrot that we eat the turnip the radish and sweet potato they all are the examples of roots the basic function of stem is the conduction of water minerals and food in plants but in some plants stems perform some specific function such examples are potato corns and turmeric they all are the stored food in form of stems now leaves the basic function of leaves are to prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis but in some plants leaves are also used as food leaves are widely used as part of our food for example cabbage spinach fenugreek mustard leaves leaves from mint and coriander are used as condiments for their flavor and medicine so students leaves of some plants are also eaten as food and in some plants leaves are used for the medicinal purpose and for the flavoring agents so till now we have studied that that plants are the producers and they make their own food and the remaining food is stored in plants in different parts so that's all about today's class here are the some questions for your homework question number 1 fill in the blanks organisms which are able to make food are called this dash you will do it b dash are unable to make their food question number 2 write any two functions of food question number 3 write examples of some food which are roots question number 4 write two examples of food which are stem so students that's all about today's class now we will meet very soon in next class till you all of you take care